Hello, my friends. Hi, my <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. My name is Angela, and I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Lixivel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So welcome, welcome. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer those straight away. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Nina. Hi, Victoria. Um, and um, just let me know where you're watching from. And if you're painting along with me, maybe, or if you're watching football, it's the um, European football championship over here. So uh, I haven't got a clue who's playing tonight. Um, Germany was kicked out last week. So um, everybody was like taking the out of me. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you so much for joining me. I'm happy you're all there. Hi, Nancy. Hi to Buffalo. Um, hi, Cindy to Virginia. That's great. Thanks for joining me all, guys. So silk is on the well, silk is on the table, so to say. This is uh, an outdoor table, and we started last week with the um, silk all-in-one mineral paints um, because it's going gonna go outside, and uh, therefore I've chosen the silk all-in-one mineral paints because they are um, water resistant, they are mildew resistant, they are grease resistant, they are UV resistant, so they. They resist basically everything, and so they are perfect for outside and um, perfect for this uh, Mediter Mediterranean. What a difficult word for a German person. Um, look, I was going for so um, tonight. We're going to um, crackle first. The other sides are crackled. I'm going to show you how I apply my crackle. There's like different ways you can do that with a spatula, you can do it with a, um, with a brush. So that's what we're going to do first. Then we're going to crackle it a little bit and then we're going to, hi to Iowa. Hi Sarah, thank you for joining. Hi Tina. Oh, hallo nach Hannover. Oh no, oh. <laughs> You just got me. I thought this, we do have a Hanover in uh, Tina. We do have a Hanover in Germany. So I thought you were watching from there. So but I'm happy you're there. That's great. Okay. Um, crackle. You can see it already over there. There's like this beautiful crackling going on. Um, and I want this under the decoupage because the decoupage papers by Dixie Bell, they are at the end a little see-through. And that's the reason. I'm going for this look. I like that. If you can just like see a little bit of the crackles going through. Who likes crackling? She has coffee. I always gotta have my coffee. Hi, Phyllis, Baltimore. So all over the place, guys. If you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page and leave me a like there. Is Dixie Bell there? Hi, Liz. Is Dixie Bell there? I can't see Dixie Bell. So I hope Dixiebel is there um, on, on their page and um, somebody will answer some questions from them hopefully too. If not, guys, just repost them and um, we go from there. So let's start with Crackle. This is the, the Crackle Medium by Dixiebel. Instagram, I'm going to get you a little over. I'm going to get you a little closer so that we basically see what we are doing. You don't need to see me. You want to see what's happening on here. So let's go from there. There we go. So let's do some crackle. So the crackle medium by Dixieville, it is, it looks like a little milky and it is, it's got, I don't know what that smell is. It, I don't know. It's a bit like vinegar, a little bit like, like apple vinegar, I think. That's what I... Hallo Silke, schön, dass du da bist. Hi Sue. Um, that's probably um, what I think that smells like. So like all the products by Dixie Girl, mix them up first. So that's what I'm also doing with the crackle. It's, um, it's like... Uh, it's got like a honey consistency, I would say. A little, a little more runny than honey. A little more runny than honey. Um, <laughs> I'm rhyming here, guys. I'm making up new English words and I'm rhyming. Oh dear. Oh dear. Master of disaster. So, 
let's see mix that up as i said you can apply that uh, with a brush you, you can also apply that with, uh, with a spatula you know if you want to have it a little thinner or something like that you can spread it out with a spatula i'm using the premier chip brush by dixieville which is one of my favorite brushes it's a synthetic brush and um am i actually on the uh, Dixieville page. Is somebody watching from the Dixieville page or are they all on my page? I guess so. Hi, Georgia. So, um, <laughs> I love rhymes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just grabbing, there's like people who say, oh, you know, I'm scared I'm doing anything wrong. And the crackles, they are like sensitive and stuff like that. And I don't want to ruin them. Applying the crackle is probably the easiest part of it, and uh, the rest is not difficult also. So it's, as I said, it's a little bit thicker. The thicker you apply your crackle, the thicker your crackles will be at the end. So when you apply the crackle, it doesn't matter if you go back and forth because nothing is happening here, you know? There's like people saying, oh, you can't go back and forth when you apply the crackle. The crackle itself, it doesn't matter. Um, you, can't, you can't harm it in this stage. So wherever you think you want to go, if you miss the space, you can only, you know, put it on partial, you know. So I'm basically, I'm just uh, using it on, um, on the, on the tr um, outside uh, trim here. So... That's what I am doing. So here we go. And so um, the crackle has got the, um, it's going to start to run. So if you have like a dresser or something like that and you can't put it down flat, you might you might want to watch it because um there might some drips appear you know so that's it so i'm going to leave it like that i've got everything covered which i want to have covered and that's it i'm going to let that dry so on the other side i'm going to turn the table around on the other side um it is already dry just want to make sure i've got my lid clean otherwise i'll it'll stick I'm trying to get better, you know me, guys. Okay. Hi, Ava. Idaho. Idaho. My American friends, I hope you had a lovely um, holiday weekend and celebrated the land of the free. So, uh, okay. My fur baby is drinking the water I've prepared for my brushes. <laughs> I'm going to lay that brush down. Let's see, I'm going to lay that down somewhere. I'm not going to dip it into my coffee either. Mm. My tattoo, my tattoo, it's a, uh, it's, uh, is it called the lotus flower in English also? So that's a lotus flower. So thank you. I'm happy you like it. I'm happy with it too. The tattoo guy, he is a he is a great artist. So you can see this is a little shiny, and you can see there is like some texture or some structure already appearing in the crackle itself. And you can still um basically thank you nina you can still this the you can still um flatten it down or smooth it out a little further if you if you want to i'm going to leave it like that i'm going to check on it if it separates from me too much i go over it again as i said when it is in this stage it's no problem you know you can't harm it everything is going to be fine so let's turn it around and um because there I have the crackers already dried. There we go. Here the crackle has already dried. Let's see. Right here. So you can see, um, Facebook can see that pretty well. There's like this, uh, the crackle uh, dries a little shiny. 
that's what it looks like at the moment. Can you see that also Instagram? I'm sure you can. So, and the base on here is the uh, Deep Sea by, um, by the Silk Line. That's the base I've got around here. The colors we've used inside here, I've used one brush for all the colors there. Um, I didn't swap brushes and I didn't mind if, it's, if it mixes into each other. We've got Harbor, we've got Kate Kern, and we had a Taipo, just to get like, uh, to match that, um, this decoupage paper we are working with later on also. So, mm. um, Yeah, well, it's, uh, I've already got to be careful with that, but uh, I'm happy that it's not only my cat doing that. I saw she's beard, so don't lay, don't lay your paper into your crackle also. So now, for um, the crackle to appear, I'm using the salt water, also by the silk line, which is white. And the reason I'm using the white is um, the decoupage papers. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get it out so you can see that. The decoupage papers, they are a little translucent. So they are a little translucent. I'll have you, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, that's right. Those papers, they are a little translucent. So when you put them, um, let's see where you can see that best. I don't know if you can really see that. When there is like white underneath, it is the colors pop a little more than on the dark colors. So this is the reason this is the Instagram, I'm gonna get you a little further over. This is the reason I always like to put some white under my uh, decoupage papers. If you wanna, um, if you wanna calm the colors down a little bit, that's fine, but I like to, to pop my colors. If I wanna dull them a little down, I like to do that, uh, whatever, with some, some colored wax or something like that. Hi to Delaware, hi Tammy. So, silk all-in-one mineral paints. They are mineral paints. And um, as I said, they are great for outdoors. They, um, they have also a built-in uh, stain locker. So you don't need boss with them. One coat of the silk all-in-one mineral paints is uh, equal to one coat of the boss. Oh, hi, Dixiebel. Thank you for joining. I was worrying that something was wrong. So, okay, so mix them up nicely. They are also water-based, they're VOC free. They've got no smell to them. So lovely to work with. So the difference from the silk all-in-one mineral paints to the chalk mineral paints is obviously all the benefits are already mentioned, plus they, um, you don't uh, use any water with them, you know, to, to um, keep them moist or something like that. They are a little different for blending because you're not supposed to use some water with them. The reason you shouldn't do that is to not compromise the, the benefits of the, of the ingredients, you know, so um, you shouldn't uh, change the consistency or whatever of those paints. That's the reason there's no water recommended. And um, so now we're going to do some crackling. This is now the part where you have to think a little what you're doing and you shouldn't go back and forth. Oh. Hi, Edita. Hi, Tulitrano. Hola, Puerto Rico. Very international today, guys. That's great. So this is the reason I'm I'm leaving my Mister Bottle far away from me because I'm used to um, no, the silk is about the same price. The silk is about the same price. So I don't know. It's about ten or twenty um, 
um, scents or something like that. So they are about the same price, the like the chalk mineral paints. The the they they only come in those in the sixteen ounce um, size. So twenty colors. They don't have that many colors uh, either. Uh, but they have beautiful blues. So um, there's different. You can you can apply it like in long strokes. That's what you can do. You can apply in in a cross hatch motion. If you if you want the cracks to be a little more irregular, you can go in a cross hatch, hatch motion. What you shouldn't do, um, you shouldn't brush force and back over it because the crackling is going to start pretty much straight away. So you can go back and touch up uh, some areas, but as soon as the crackle has started and you do that, you might abasoir, Joel. Um, as soon as the crackle has started and you go over it again, you're going to push the paint into the crackles and close them up again. So that's the reason you shouldn't do that. So. Um, I'm grabbing also the more paint you grab, the um, bigger the cracks are going to be. So you can control that a little bit is if you can talk about control with crackling. So, um, because basically the crackling is happening straight away and, um, you can't really control it, but, uh, the thicker the crackle was before and, um, oh, hi, Kathy. And the um, thicker you apply the paint on top, the bigger the um, the cracks are going to be. So I'm going a bit in a cross hatch motion. So I'm just going to start. Um, I've got like a good load of paint on here. So I'm pulling it down and I'm going in a cross hatch. I'm reloading my brush. And I'm doing that. You can go a little back over, as I said, if the, the crackle hasn't started yet, you might do that. But uh, you don't wanna close up your crackles again. So, and also, you know, if you have like a good amount of, um, of paint on your brush, you, have a good amount you can offload on your project. So, also I like to take the um, synthetic brushes for um, painting over the crackle because they hold a lot of paint. So you know the you have a good chance to to cover it basically with one stroke. You can see how easy that covers. Reload my brush, go over it. So here at the end, I've already had some crackling, so I'm gonna go a little like this. So that's it. This area is a little too much, but it hasn't started yet. You can go gently over it. That's it. So you can see can you see it's already starting it is already starting so i'm just going to get my brush out of the way as i don't need any more white paint it's fine cat has drink has been drinking so she's not thirsty anymore i reckon i can use my bucket for the brush now mm. No, um, Victoria, the crackle itself, I've applied with, um, with a chip brush. The crackle itself, I've applied with the, um, where is it? With my premium chip brush. What I've done now is uh, basically, uh, I've applied the second coat for the crackling chip here. So this is a silk only one I've just, um, I've just um, applied with my mini brush. I'm actually using my, using as the usual my mini brush. So I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can see the beautiful crackle happening. So can you see that here? 
this is this is crackling like mad because the question was also if you can do the crackle with the silk all in one mineral paints you can do that beautifully that works perfect did you see this that's so beautiful I'll get you a little closer always amazing i love it i absolutely love it okay hi amber thank you for joining so okay crackle is done i'm gonna actually clean the side a little bit i was a bit generous with the paint those you know edges and stuff like that i'm going to touch up at the end as um, i don't want that white obviously but this is gonna be done at the end let that do their work this is the only um time basically where you um, gotta watch the crackle is when you apply the second coat of paint over it so that you don't overwork it and then you want to leave it that's the reason i've prepared um, the other sides where we're going to do some decoupaging now and um let's see i'm gonna turn that again turn turn Turn. Turn. a little further back this is always a challenge for me getting this like set up okay i think that's fine all right so the um, decoupage paper i've chosen are the um it's the uh, colorful tiles by the bells and whistles which are colorful tiles as you can see so um what i've noticed that um i mean ideal it would have been if um when you apply those that they would fit onto onto this piece but um they don't so I'm going to cut them apart and I'm going to apply them one by one and um, go from there. So this is about four, six, seven are going to go almost on there, I think. Four or seven. Okay. So I've got my scissors. This is rice paper. If you look at the back this is the back you can see the structure so this is rice paper which got like a beautiful structure to it and um hello Heidi <laughs> so let's see I've got my two sides wet okay you can lay that down you can use a ruler to have like a straight line I'm going at the end to blend the edges in with an artist brush, with a thin artist brush, the gaps in between. And I'm going to use the, let's first going to see how big the gaps are going to be. If I am using, uh, filling the gaps up first with the deep sea again, but I'm definitely going to use uh, the gilding waxes by Dixie Bell, the copper and the bronze, because I think they're going to go beautifully with this, um, with this paper. So I'm a little off screen. I can't really see your comments. So usually I like to rip my papers, but as those are basically like tiles, I'm going to cut it. Because I want to have it pretty much straight along there. And go from there. And this is going to go all around the piece. So this is basically how I'm going to match them up around. And for applying, 
and you have Dixiebel products in your house and you have some top coats by Dixiebel in the house, you don't need a separate decoupage medium or something like that. You can use your top coats and it doesn't matter if it's the gator hide or if it's the satin or the flat or the gloss, they all work great. So, cut them even further apart. Um, what? What am I? <laughs> Some things you have to translate, sir. Wuss? What is wuss? I don't know what that is. So. As I said, I could apply it, you know, completely in one piece, but as I said, I want to have it spread out to the outside, basically, of the, um, along the whole side. That's the reason I am cutting it. The edges are not perfectly straight. That's no problem as they will be blended in a little bit at the end with, um, with the gilding wax. What you also can do. So you're going to see in a minute. I'm just going to cut them all out. Let's see which ones I'm going to use. But they're going to be used all the way around anyway, so it doesn't really matter in which, um, in which order I am using them. So if you want to speed it up, you can... They actually, there's like three sheets per, um, per pack. So this will last easily for that whole project. So there's loads of things you can do with that. But also, if you can think about it, you can do some coasters with it. You know, you can decoupage some coasters or something like that. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous also. So, go. What's the time, guys? Half an hour. Good to go. Let's do some decoupaging. Because that's going to go quick. It's going to be pretty, pretty quick. So, that's fine. Put that to the side. It's good for this. So let's see. I'm going to lay that on here and see how many we can fit on here. Approximately. So. Going to okay. I could measure as per usual. I am not measuring. You know me. You know me. As you can uh, basically, we can replace them a little at the end, so that it will work fine. And I'm, you know, I don't really care about the order I'm placing them. Also, oh, this is already gonna be gorgeous, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, well, if, if you, I mean, you could leave the crackle, of course, like this, um, Nina, um, but then I would have chosen a different color. Then I would have chosen a different color. So now, um, I've chosen for the decoupaging the top coat satin by Dixieville. The reason I've got a plastic bag on top there is, um, um, as I usually wipe my brush on, you know, on the top of the jar, 
there might be some of the top coat on there and then it will be a little hard to open. So top coat satin, it dries satin, it looks milky, but it dries clear, completely clear. The nice thing is about most of the clear products by Dixieville that they, when they are um, wet, they are in a milky consistency. Um, um, they are a little milky, which uh, makes it easier them to see on the surface actually. So you can see very well where you've just applied it. And uh, this is basically to avoid that you, you know, over coat or over wax your, your pieces because you can nicely see where you've actually just put it. So I'm using again my, one of the mini brushes, which is my favorite brush because it's uh, a little smaller for my little hands. And um, so I'm just applying now. This has been dry now for about, whatever, I've done it on the weekend. So just apply a coat of your coat, top coat and then make sure you've got the paper the right way around. Just place it on here. I'm actually going to put it around the edge also. Cover the edge, which is probably going to look pretty nice. So. I'm going to start on the other end also. I'm going to work my way from the front and to the back, basically. Do it that way. To bunch of, and then you can see on oh, that looks gorgeous. I love that. I love that. Oops. Just there you go. Move that a little bit. I'm gonna bring you close again in a in a minute. So um Actually, I'm going to speed it up a bit. I'm going to cover the whole piece with the top coat now. I'm not getting scientific now. Just do that. Here, wrap it around the edge. So, let's see. It's probably about the middle. You can replace them a little, so that's the reason I'm just doing it that way now. Just to speed it up. As I said, I could measure. I'm not a measurer. I'm not a measuring type of person. That's the reason I'm not doing it. I'm not going to start now. Don't be stupid. I'm not going to start now. So and this paper is pretty strong, so you can basically reposition it not ripping on you which is great obviously the top coats should not dry a little further up here so Michelle is on here she's our crackling queen uh, our decoupaging queen as I learned the other day. So move it a little further up. And as I said, those gaps they will be covered at the end with uh, paint and gilding wax we're going to do the next time because we're also going to do the bottom part of it so okay if the the top coat has dried on you you know depending in which climate you're in you can basically just put a little more down Once you've got it down, 
for the generous amount of um, top coat over it to make sure it really sticks well to the surface. Go around those edges. So that's it. Obviously with those small pieces, it's pretty easy to work with. You're not getting any bubbles under there. You can reposition it a little. So and I'm gonna bring you a little closer in a second so you can really see the lovely crackle, which is like shimmering through, shimmering through the, um, shimmering through. Let's see. Otherwise, I'll have to do a video again. I can't really lift the table up. So it's uh, too heavy. But you can see, especially in those lighter areas, the crackle going through. Or with this one here, you can see that pretty nicely, all the cracks going through, especially with the lighter ones. That's uh, very nice. It looks very nice. I like that. So, and basically, let's see, this is still still not dry, but I'm, I'm going to show you what I thought I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab an artist brush and uh, this is the deep sea. And well, this is this is wet. I forgot to do that with my right hand. And I'm just going to basically when that's dry obviously there's like the the top coat is not dried yet can cover those areas up and um go from there go from there we're also going to do some Um, gilding waxes when it's all dried to give it like a little bit of a bling you know I like to bling up my pieces so, the top coat is not uh, dry yet so I'm basically pulling the paint back at the same time this is me being impatient again Oops, that was a bit much paint. From there. This is now to Fill in the gaps basically again, the ones I've been taken out. So, get that dry. There we go. This is basically what's going to be done all the way around. There we go. Anybody there? Oh, thank you, Tina. <laughs> so, my friends, 40 minutes. Can do the decoupaging on the other side just basically the same thing and um, this is going to be sealed again you know also with the with the satin and um, basically you've seen that you can also crackle with the 
This is the um, Silk Only One Mineral Paints. That looks great. I like that. I do like it. I do like it. So, do some crackling, quick crackling, quick, 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 quick. quick. Decoupaging on the other side. Ugh. This is going to look fun at the end. thing here. Lay our, let's see, we need cutting one down. There's my scissors, my moves. Anybody knows who's playing tonight at football? I totally lost um, track of it. Two, three, four, five, two, four, six, seven. Need two more. So you can make it bet and rip it. Obviously, I wanted to have like um, crisp edges this time. They don't need to be perfect, but uh, a little crisp. It's going to help. Yes, there are tiles at the end and um, supposed to appear to look like that. And you can also could also see how easy you can you know reposition this paper. It's pretty strong, so you're not doing any harm. So let's see. I'm gonna cut this apart anyway. Then. Those they're not supposed to go in any particular order, just like putting them down. Like, I think I want to have them yeah. doesn't matter which order they are, they look gorgeous anyway, don't they? Mm. One, two, same one on the same side, doesn't matter. Any questions? Oh, paper. Questions? Mm. That's right. What? Somebody came to your door while I'm on. How dare. How dare. So, did you tell him that I'm going to come around and kick his uh, backside? So, just to the side quickly, applying my top coat satin, which is my decoupage medium. You could see I taped that off. And the only reason I've taped it off is uh, because I was uh, doing the crosshatch mo um, motion with the with the uh, this is silk and I didn't want the white obviously on the middle of the table. So here start on the outside again. Lay that down. I go right up to the edge actually. Mm. 
And this is, you know, if you if you haven't uh, done decoupage before or something like that, and you are um, scared of doing it, just start with a project like this, where you use the the smaller the smaller sheets, basically. You can, this is nice and practicing because there's nothing you can do wrong there. As long as there's enough of the um, decoupage on there, the medium. So, let's see. That's out. Approximately, where yeah, they're gonna go. This is pretty much rustic again. So I'm gonna spread it out a little more, I think. It's not supposed to be perfect. Most of my projects are not supposed to be perfect. Just replace those as long as it's not right, you have like a a little opening time to reposition. So now I'm committing, I'm just putting it down now. It's, it's fine. The gaps I'm going to fill again with the paint. So just those small sheets, you're not getting any wrinkles or bubbles or stuff like that that works nicely and if you do you just lift it gently up put it back down yeah gently do as i say not as i do gently i said gently don't rip it up so Oops. A bit right on the back here. Okay, now I'm going to apply another coat just on top. It depends which decoupage paper you're using. There are papers which are um, supposed to dry after you've um, after you've put them on and they don't want to be stressed too much but with the uh, rice papers you can basically go straight away and um, put another coat on top to soak them nicely through and then they really stick beautifully to your project so what do you think that looks pretty pretty already. Thank you, Janice. Oh, you're talking to your parents again. Give my love to them. <laughs> Give my love to them, darling. Okay, so my friends, time flies. Time flies. So already, this is already a transformation, isn't it? I think that looks pretty cute. I hope you like it. I hope um, there were some things, some tricks I showed you. Uh, yes, I will. Mm, this is an outside table. This is an outside table. So um, this is just like, uh, it was like one of those wooden um, outside tables. And uh, this was painted with, um, with the Silk Auto One mineral paints. We had used some crackle. We've done some crackling uh, earlier on. Um, the first coat was we put down here. The second coat we put down here, the crackles. And uh, this one was already finished. So we've done some decoupaging, the decoupage by um, Dixie Bell. So. Oh, Griselda. I hope you receive them soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Victoria. Mm. Oh, hi, Jill. Oh, thank you, Dixie Bell. Okay. Okay, I can't see any questions at the moment. If I miss them, I will come back later. 
It does, Victoria. Time always flies. It always flies. Chatting with you and painting away. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. Um, if you want to shop those products, pop over to the Dixiebel page and check for your local retailer. There's also an area for Canada, for New Zealand, Australia and for Europe. Um, we are all, all over the world, basically. If you want to become a retailer over here in Germany, contact me. I'm the distribution also. So um, I'll be happy to talk to you. If you haven't done it yet, guys, please pop over to my page. Leave me a like there. That would be absolutely fantastic. Follow the master of disaster. I'm actually quite surprised. Nothing happened tonight. What's wrong? <laughs> it's probably going to happen in a minute. I'm probably going to trip everything over. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.